we live in a three-dimensional world, but all the content which we interact with on a daily, weekly basis, or how we operate our lives, is on two dimensions. And this is the first step in allowing society to see content in three dimensions. It's always difficult to describe it because it's, uh, in a way, it is a first. It is maybe the world's first physically dynamic screen. And I, I like to think that that's, uh, uh, that's a sort of obvious next step as digital technologies come into play, is that information meets form. And this is a crude prototype for what I imagine will happen at all different scales, from uh, right down to the microscopic. And with nanotechnology, that's effectively what's happening, is that information is changing the physical characteristics of matter itself all the time. Uh, and it's required gathering a team of people with particular expertise. I don't think any one person could do it. But it's this, it's this blending of you know, mathematicians, programmers, robotic engineers, interactive artists, composers, that have all come together for this. I'm an architect rather than an engineer. And as such, I'm, I'm always interested by the, the effect of, of form of the built environment on people. And, and it's at its most beautiful for me when there's a reciprocity between people and architecture. So it's a sort of decorative architecture coming into being through the agency of people. So there's this sort of uh, you are it uh, aspect to it, which I find really fascinating. <laughs>